Imagine launching your own product and waking up to new sales every morning without having to do the marketing or selling yourself. That's what ClickBank's top sellers are doing. And today I'm showing you how to set up the same seller funnel they use. If you're a ClickBank affiliate who knows what the seller funnel looks like from the outside, but don't know how to create it for yourself, I'll tie the outside to the inside of ClickBank's UI across five funnel stages. However, the reality is that the steps for launching your ClickBank product aren't in the same order as what the public sees. It's sort of like a movie director who films scenes out of order for the movie they're making. They know their final script and the correct sequence of scenes so they can film them in any order and still create the final product they're envisioning. So think of this video as a five step behind the scenes tour of a ClickBank seller account to help you launch your first product on the ClickBank marketplace. By the way, my name is Kirsten Hearsink and I'm an account strategist for ClickBank's Gold Ascend program. I help up and coming sellers navigate and scale on ClickBank's platform. Stay tuned to hear all the seller secrets you'd learn if you worked with me one-on-one. -on -one. Let's get started. Introducing the Affiliate Marketing Funnel. Okay, if you jump into ClickBank's Marketplace, you'll see countless examples of products that an affiliate can promote. All an affiliate has to do is hit the Get Affiliate Link button and they can start promoting an offer with their own hop link. Let's talk through what this public seller funnel looks like, or in other words, what affiliates who will promote your product will see. First, when a customer clicks an affiliate hop link, they'll go to the vendor's pitch page. If they click the buy now button, the customer will be taken to the ClickBank order form, also known as the checkout page for that product. Then the customer can buy upsells associated with that first product. Lastly, they're shown the confirmation or thank you page and receive an email with order details. That's just a standard affiliate marketing funnel for ClickBank products. But if we pull out the elements that are needed for just the seller, you only have five primary deliverables to focus on. You have the marketplace post, which is your marketplace editor, the pitch page, which is your product, the checkout, which is your order form, upsell downsell pages, which is the upsell funnel, and last, the confirmation page or receipt, which is how the product is delivered. So what's going on behind the scenes as a seller to make that marketplace listing possible? Let's discuss it with a tour of seller onboarding for ClickBank sellers. Seller onboarding on ClickBank. If you've been an affiliate on ClickBank, you're familiar with what the funnel looks like from an affiliate point of view. But for this video, I wanna tie the outside with the inside of ClickBank's UI. It's important that you have a visual roadmap of what you're building for both your affiliates and customers as you navigate ClickBank's onboarding resources. Remember the movie director analogy? The steps you'll follow inside your ClickBank seller account won't be in the same order as what the affiliate sees of your public funnel. Also, I wanna stress, this is not a complete step-by-step -step guide on onboarding your offer, but we have many detailed guides and checklists for onboarding your product in the proper order. We'll link those out in the description. But as I mentioned, it can be difficult to go through this process without knowing how all these internal pieces fit into your offer's public-facing journey, big picture. So as you're creating your ClickBank offer, we wanna make sure it's functional for customers and attractive for affiliates. One of the biggest missteps that new sellers make is building an offer with only their customer in mind. But the good news is I'll show you how to do both. So let's dive in to step one of the seller funnel, the marketplace post. Today, we'll be sharing with you our beautiful, high converting marketer mantras product. It's totally real, guys. The marketplace post will be the first place to attract affiliates and in turn, attract more customers through your funnel on ClickBank. If you get this step right, affiliates will be clamoring to grab a tracking link and promote your product. So here is what the outside experience looks like for the example offer we created on ClickBank. Now let's look at the inside experience. This is located under the vendor settings and then my site and a marketplace listing. All the same details that were publicly visible, the category, the title, the description, they're all included in this section. Quick tip, take out all the guesswork for your affiliates. Put together a nicely designed page with ample resources and keep it up to date. Remember, just because you won an affiliate's traffic once doesn't mean you have them forever. 
Now this right here is the primary affiliate tracking link landing page. This is the most critical URL to ensure that affiliates get paid for the traffic that they send. It's the Hoplink Lander, also known as the pitch page. The bulk of your time onboarding a ClickBank product will be spent creating the best pitch page you possibly can. If you miss this, affiliates won't touch your offer, no matter how good the product is. In the standard experience, the main Hoplink Lander is also your initial product page, that pitch page. So when we say initial product, I mean the first product in a series of products you can sell in an upsell flow. Don't worry, I'll cover upsells more in a bit. For now, just know the Hoplink Lander is generated by affiliates from the marketplace and that points towards the landing page you've built. So this pitch page, along with all the other pages in your upsell funnel, is built using HTML or a funnel builder tool outside of ClickBank. All ClickBank needs is the URL to that page, and this is the page that your default top link will point to. Let me show you. So our example product's nickname is Mantras For You. Affiliates using the typical Hoplink format will point their traffic to the URL we set here. Let me show you an example. Of course, if you're an affiliate, you'll know, typically use a bridge page, but just for an example, right here is the direct hop link format. Hop.clickbank.net, affiliate equals and vendor equals mantras for you. So let me click it and show you. Ta-da! We have our pitch page. And I'll also show you here inside that that is the same page that was set in the marketplace editor. I'll copy it here. And there you go. As mentioned, the Hoplink Lander and initial pitch page are often one and the same. So knowing that, let's jump into our vendor settings, my products. This is the first page, first product you are selling to customers. So opening up the product editor is where you will upload the page URL and your product details, including price and affiliate payouts. I'm just gonna scroll through this slightly. So right here as mentioned, this will be both that default and initial link right here. Inside the UI, you can edit product details, which will connect to our next step, the order form. After a customer visits your pitch page and decides to make a purchase, they'll click a special link called a pay link, which will populate the correct order form. Believe it or not, this step is another huge opportunity to improve your offer's performance for your affiliates and optimize your sales. First, you'll add your pay link to the pitch page buy button or add to cart button, which you built off ClickBank in a page builder, like ClickBank Accelerator, or coded out with a developer. The details of this pay link come from the product uploader. So this pay link is built out of parameters. One of the parameters is the CB items, which you can find in the My Product Editor. So right here, CB item equals one. So that's gonna direct them to the right product. Template equals, this is the order form design. It's not required, but highly encouraged. Then CBFID, that's the upsell flow program. It's not required, but highly encouraged. Now here is what the order form looks like after clicking the buy button. Again, that CB item was populated when you created your product in the product editor. And that is inserted as the CB item equals to create that pay link. While we're on the order form and pay links, let's quickly talk order form extras. These are not required, but extremely common and highly recommended. Reminder, this is the template equals parameter that is added to that initial product pay link. You can add things like header images, change the colors of the order form, things that can help with order form conversions and brand consistency. So here's that order form on the outside. Let's look inside. Going to the vendor settings and my order form, you can find all the order form tools here. How to create your design under the custom order forms. You can also add things like exit offers, 
and order bumps to increase that initial cart value or save a sale. If you're interested, you can find out how to implement those inside of our onboarding optimizer, which we linked below. All right, quick tip. Let me show you the test credit card so you can ensure your funnel is operating without being charged for real. You'll go to vendor settings and my site, toggle down and you will see the testing your products section. So here you can generate a card. I think it expires after a few days. So you'll just generate one here and copy these over. Okay, we'll run a test now. Over. You'll see through, make it look super fancy. Five, uh, five, twenty-seven, five, nine, one. And then after the customer fills out their details, they'll click order now, and it will process that initial payment. All right, we are now on step number four one-click upsells. The upsell funnel is where top sellers on ClickBank quietly double or triple their revenue. An upsell is simply an additional complimentary product a customer can buy after the first one. And these really move the needle on AOVs, which allows you to pay your affiliates more. Top sellers have upsell funnels to ensure they can pay competitive commissions to top affiliates. So this is certainly something that you'll want to test for yourself. In ClickBank's UI, the one-click upsell is also added to the initial product pay link editor as that CBFID template. All right, going to the inside experience, the pitch URL is the page that will load in order to sell the assigned product in each step. So to get more of the nuances on how to build this out, please refer to our onboarding resources. The basics are that it will load the pitch page URL and on each pitch page, you will add the accept or dkind links. This is like the initial pay link we discussed, but this will tell the system specifically what product to show according to what you programmed in the upsell editor. So on the inside, you'll go to vendor settings and my products again, and then you'll go over to upsell flows. And as you can see here, this is the logic that we have pre-designed. So you can see item number two is the one we wanted to be shown after item number one and I'll show you that URL here to confirm that's exactly what showed up for us. And here are the accept and decline links. So in this case, I'm sold. So I'm gonna say add to my order. And now we've arrived at step number five, which is the final confirmation page. Now that we've built the seller funnel, all we have left to do is thank the customer and deliver the products they purchased. Note, after a sale goes through, ClickBank automatically routes the funds where they need to go. We'll deduct our small processing fee and pay out the commission you set for the affiliate who made the sale. Then we'll drop the remainder of the sale in your ClickBank paycheck. As for the end customer, let's look at what the receipt and confirmation page looks like. Of course, this was a test mode purchase, but that will not show for real customers. This page is provided by ClickBank by default. All items purchased in the funnel will show here as a line item. Again, this is dependent on the product upload details. You'll build your own thank you page off ClickBank and include the URL for it here. For digital products, you can create your own thank you page with product delivery there, or you can upload the product directly to ClickBank. I'll show you that process here. So as you can see, marketer mantras, we click that link and we're presented with our very own thank you page that we designed off ClickBank with the download details here. For the seller success spells, we uploaded the PDF straight to ClickBank so they can download it right from the confirmation page. In addition to the confirmation page, customers will get an email straight from ClickBank. Here is a receipt example. Congratulations, at this point, you should have a solid connection between the inside of ClickBank and the outside. If you're ready to get started, we'll drop a link to sign up for a free ClickBank account in the description. But I think it's also important to point out a few things we didn't talk about in this video. As a seller, these are the basics you need to figure out prior to publishing your funnel in order to find success on ClickBank. 
sales page and affiliate resource pages, product delivery and method, fulfillment for physical products, customer service, support contact, testing capabilities, and optimization for affiliates. But here's all the functionality you can get from ClickBank. Affiliate attribution, analytics, payment processing, seller and affiliate commission payouts, customer service portal, and basic ticket support. Most of this is self-explanatory, but I did want to briefly talk to you about testing because after all of that effort onboarding, this is critical for attracting and retaining affiliates. After building out your seller funnel by going through the onboarding process for your offer, you need to conduct two types of testing. The first type is functional testing, which is what we did together with the test credit card. This verifies it actually works from start to finish. The second type of testing is performance testing. Think of performance testing as gathering data on how your ClickBank offer converts with different kinds of traffic. Ideally, you'll point the same type of traffic to your offer as you expect affiliates to drive on your behalf. For example, if you think your offer performs well with Facebook ads, you might wanna run some paid campaigns through Meta. Or if you think your offer would crush on email, you could contact some prominent email list managers in the space to do a send for your offer. Quick tip, make sure all of the links you promote are hop links or direct tracking links with a separate ClickBank ID. You can simply open a second affiliate account within your same primary as your seller ID. Performance testing does two things. First, it gives your affiliate offer some data within ClickBank's marketplace, including the all-important gravity score and average payout value, making it easier to see your offer's marketplace post and more attractive to affiliates once they do see it. Second, it gives you compelling numbers to share in your marketplace post, your affiliate resource pages, and in one-on-one -on -one conversations with top affiliates. I can't overstate how important this performance testing step is. While you do need to get your offer listed on ClickBank's marketplace, you also need to do some legwork to make it as appealing as possible to top ClickBank affiliates. Don't worry if performance testing sounds overwhelming, just take the process one step at a time. I've seen plenty of new sellers who figured out what they needed to know to get their product on ClickBank and seen by affiliates. And you will too. Whew, I know that was a lot of technical stuff, but it's so valuable to have a bird's eye view of the process so you can get onboarded fast and start getting ClickBank sales fast too. To recap, we covered the five step seller funnel and the onboarding process for listing your product on ClickBank. One, the marketplace post. Two, the pitch page. Three, the order form. Four, the upsell funnel. And five, the confirmation page and receipt. I hope you now feel prepared to get your offer on ClickBank and attract quality affiliates to go promote it. If you want to learn more about growing an affiliate program as a ClickBank seller, we'll drop some links to valuable resources for sellers in the description of this video. These include our seller onboarding optimizer and our scalable affiliate program guide, which has a ton of great tips for finding success as a seller. Now, real quick, we'd love to create more content like this for sellers, but it takes a lot of time and we need to know if you're interested in seeing more. So if this was helpful and you want more seller content from ClickBank, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It makes a huge difference. Lastly, drop a comment below with your burning questions about being a ClickBank seller and I'll be happy to answer them. All right, that's all from me for now. Until next time, cheers and make bank.